Is it true that you're making the first 3D printed food here at South By? Uh, we actually we did the first 3D printed food two years ago. And which was? Uh, Oreo. So it was Oreo Oreo vending. So it was called trending <laughs> vending. So you could actually uh, print an Oreo cookie based on what was trending on Twitter. So uh, you could actually taste kind of culture through through an Oreo. So that was really fun, and uh, you could personalized Oreo within two minutes. That's incredible, yeah, even yeah. the color? Even. Uh, color of the filling? It was, it was just, the, it's just the filling inside at okay. that time. But we just launched, as a result of that project, so talking about dragons, as a result of that project, we had a, a food scientist, I'm uh, sorry, one of our food engineers was there, and they were so blown away by the fact that people would stand in line for two and a half hours, at South by Southwest, by the way, arguably the most cynical place on the planet. Um, it would stand in line for two and a half hours and wait to get a, a custom cookie. That he, we realized at that moment that custom was a huge opportunity, and he said, I'm going to see if I can't create custom Oreos en masse. And so um, as a result of that, in, over the holiday season, we actually launched a, pro uh, a product called Color Filled, only available online. Um, and you could go online, you could customize the packaging of the Oreo, you could write in a, a message, you could color it in. And so that was the first time ever that we had delivered direct-to-consumer in a 103-year history of Oreos, um, but you could customize your Oreo.